Hi there, and welcome back to a new episode of the Annals of the Wild. I'll be your host, Kaywood, and in this episode, we will be talking about one of the greatest animals of all time. It's the number one predator in India, and my favorite animal, the Bengal tiger. Come on, let's go get it from the shelf. I keep the Bengal tiger way down here, in the omnivorous and carnivorous mammal section. Beside the polar bear, cheetah, and armor leopard. Let's take him out and have a look. The Bengal tiger, like all tigers, has orange fur with black stripes, a long tail, strong arms and legs, and large canine teeth. Let's talk more about this awesome big cat. The Bengal tiger's scientific name is Panthera tigris tigris. The first thing most people think of a tiger is strength. You guys are not wrong. Tigers are the strongest of the five big cats. What are the big cats you might ask? The big cats are a group of animals that include tigers, lions, jaguars, leopards, and snow leopards. And they're all in the genus Panthera. And like I said, tigers are the strongest of those five. The second thing most people think of a tiger is its fur. Like I said in the beginning, the tiger's fur is orange with black stripes. It uses this fur for camouflage. Why? To hide from its prey. Prey is an animal that a tiger or any predator hunts. The tiger's prey include deer, wild boar, and monkeys, while even bigger prey might include water buffalo, rhino, and even crocodiles. The way the Bengal tiger hunts is that it hides from its prey. Then, once close enough, it leaps out and runs at its prey. The tiger can run at 65 kilometers per hour and can jump 30 feet, 10 meters. That's really far for such a big cat. Once the tiger catches its prey, it bites it in the neck. Then, it waits for the prey to die from suffocation. The Bengal tiger has the second strongest bite of any big cat, only behind the jaguar. And the tiger's bite is 1,050 psi. And if you and for a comparison, a lion's bite is only 650 psi. That's almost that means the tiger's bite is almost twice as much as a lion's. The tiger is the top predator, an apex predator, and where it lives in India. Its habitat includes forests, grasslands, and even swamps. The Bengal tiger is long. It's the second largest subspecies of tiger only behind the Siberian. The Sumatran tiger is the smallest subspecies of tiger. The other three include the Indonesian, the Malayan, and the South Chinese. The Bengal tiger can grow 9 to 9.5 feet long and 220 kilograms, 550 pounds. That's really big. The Bengal tiger has really good senses. Its night vision is six times better than a human and has great smell and hearing. It uses these to track its prey. The Bengal tiger is a solitary animal. That means it doesn't live with other tigers. Like all cats, it's solitary. It's the exception of lions, which live in prides, but we'll cover them on a later video. The Bengal tiger's weapons include its long teeth and claws. And in this book over here, Who Would Win, I have a few pictures. The tiger's teeth is this long, and this is the gum line, so this is all we can see. There's also the tiger's claws in this book. They're that long. Now that we're on the topic of claws, let's talk about the tiger's retractable claws. The tiger's claws can come in and out whenever the tiger wants, specifically when it holds a prey item. They use this to grab prey and rip it apart. The Bengal tiger, even though it's the most plentiful subspecies of tiger, is still endangered. There are only 2,000 Bengal tigers there are less than 2,000 Bengal tigers actually left in the wild. And we need to protect them, especially since they're the national animal of India. Well, we'll see you in the next 
episode. But until then, bye.